in the short term, in the short term, go take it certainly is a pretty team from the coach to the offense, but Cliff Kingsbury and the Red Raiders, they've got to start showing more than good looks after a 4-8 and eight season. It all starts with a defense that has to be far, far tighter after a disastrous year. So here's the deal with the 2015 Texas Tech Red Raiders. The offense, specifically the passing game, you know, it's going to be the Texas Tech passing game. And as always, it's going to absolutely rock. With leading receiver Jakeem Graham back, along with six of the top seven targets, the passing game is going to be fantastic. Four starters are back up front to keep the quarterback upright, whether it's Davis Webb or Patrick Mahomes. But what has to improve? Well, a little more rushing production would be nice after running for just eight scores, but more importantly, the defense. It's got to do its job after allowing 36 rushing scores. That's nothing new, though, to Texas Tech. It's allowed 30 rushing touchdowns or more in three of the last four seasons. So what's going to happen? Kingsbury, he's a rising superstar head coach, and he'll come up with a better season, but it's still going to be a fight. Going to Arkansas won't help, but with this offense, there's going to be a road upset somewhere either against either Oklahoma, West Virginia, or Texas. And getting Baylor on a neutral site and TCU and Oklahoma State at home, that'll certainly help. But it's still going to be tough to come up with a winning season. So a six-win campaign, that's a little more realistic. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Texas Tech Red Raiders, check out the full written preview on Campus Insiders, and stay handsome.